disappointing, you know, because this is what it's about. It's about having the, the drive and the heart and the real passion to go and be a professional footballer, to go and push yourselves to the, to the limit, no matter what, not back you get. If somebody says to you, oh, sorry, you're not good enough this week, but then next week be good enough, you know, because that's all I did all through my career. I got one knock back, I stepped right through it, I just carried on, carried on. I tried to push myself and drive myself to the best I could be. Some, some weeks it wasn't good enough, other weeks it was. Eventually, I did get my professional contract my, uh, at Manchester United to give me one year. And I thought, well, it's a big, big season for me. It's a, I've got to step up to the mark. I've got to become better than the rest of the players that was at. And I think at the time, it was, they just signed uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Andy Cole was there. Eric Cantona was there. Paul Scholes was there. Ryan Giggs was there. You know, and there was one or two lads who you, you might not be familiar with because he was in the reserves. I had to become better than them, I had to come to that standard. So I think that year, that was when I really, really shown what I was about and how much passion and how much ability I believed I had. Because I pushed myself, I drove myself, I trained harder than any single person every single day. Extra training, even if it was 10 minutes, it was 10 minutes extra training that I knew could better myself. I found what I was good at. My game, as in holding the ball up and bringing players into play and scoring goals, because ultimately as a striker you need to score goals. And I found it and I worked at it every single day, better and better and better and better. It was just eventually I broke in. I broke into the reserves and then I broke into training with the first team. And I think at the end of that season I got uh, I got called up to the England squad. I went to play in Malaysia to play for England under 20s World Cup. And on that I was there with Michael Owen was there, uh, Jamie Carragher was there, Danny Murphy was there, he was many talented players was there. We got, I think we got beat by Argentina in the quarter finals, 2-1. And then obviously I come back to England, play for Manchester United, I had a decision to make. I was 19 years of age. I thought, do I stay at Manchester United or do I go and try and progress my career, try and further my career, because I believed I could play first team football, professional football. So I decided to go and sign for Preston North End, which was probably the best decision I ever made in my life because I was there five years and David Moyes was my manager at the time, he was manager now of Manchester United and he had me five years there and I think I played over 150 odd games scoring 90 odd goals or 70 odd goals uh, and I think that really shown me and shown a lot of people you know, that I did have the drive and I did have the passion and I did believe in myself enough to send me on to the next level there. And I think when I was at Preston, I scored, you know, like I say, I scored some, some goals that really, you know, they just still define me now, the, the goals that I scored, and it was, you know, they were good goals and people still remember them now and tell me about them now. But then Manchester City signed me for £5 million, it was at the time, which was a record signing for Manchester City and a record signing for Preston. It was, it was you know, it was amazing because I was from Manchester. And, with my, my team and that's what I wanted to do. So 